my brothers and sisters, here in Al Madinah Al Munawwara, it is the 23rd night of Ramadan. Possibility this could be Laylatul Qadr. What do we do? Firstly, Allahumma inna ka afuun to hibbul afwa fafu anna. O oh Allah, you are most forgiving, you love to forgive, so forgive us. You could say fa'fu anni, which means forgive me. I am praying for all of you that Allah forgive all of us collectively and grant us Jannatul Firdaus. May Allah forgive every single one of us. May our lives improve in every possible way. And may we ultimately achieve Jannatul Firdaus. Do you know that if you haven't done too much extra during this night, for whatever reason, at least you should have stayed away from sin. So to stay away from sin is the first step in achieving the pleasure of Allah. Thereafter, once we've stayed away from sin, we fulfill our duties and obligations unto Allah because not fulfilling them would be sinful as well. So the second step is to stay away from that which is futile, like a waste of time. People play games, people sit and chit chat, um, nothing beneficial at all. If it is about the deen, if it is about something beneficial, if it is teaching someone, learning something, listening to something that would motivate you to do more and so on, those are acts of worship that are counted by Allah. If they are done on a night like this, it's okay. So at least you would not be spending your time doing something futile. People sit and watch telly. People spend time on social media. This night is not for that. It is really to engage in that which will please Allah. So we seek the forgiveness of Allah. We abstain from that which is sinful, obviously. We try to ensure we don't waste our time. And then don't be lazy. You must make an effort to get up and at least pray some extra units of prayer. Two, four, six, no fixed number. But mashallah, the more the merrier, the better it is. And then you end with a witr. It's preferred that you end it with a witr. اِجْعَلُوا آخِرَ صَلَاتَكُمْ فِي اللَّيْلِ وِتْرًا You should try and make the last prayer of the night the witr prayer. And thereafter you make dua, call out to Allah, raise your hands, you know, and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you. Start off with the salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then praise Allah a lot and declare his greatness and then seek his forgiveness. And then ask Allah whatever you want and keep repeating the duas, no problem. May Allah grant us our dreams. May Allah grant us our wishes. May Allah remove us from our problems and hardships and difficulties. May Allah Almighty grant us cure, protect us, give us good health, grant us sustenance, grant us beautiful, amazing homes that bring about calmness, contentment and coolness to ourselves. May Allah bless our children and bless those who are not married with spouses. May Allah bless our parents, our siblings, our, our grandchildren, our children, our grandparents perhaps, whoever is alive. May Allah grant them goodness, whoever's passed away. May Allah have mercy on them. May Allah Almighty assist each one of us in whatever difficulties we're going through. Subhanallah. So those are the type of duas we make. And we end off also declaring the praise of Allah and sending blessings and salutations upon the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But remember, ultimately, Aisha radiallahu anha asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, what should I say if I meet uh, the night of decree or Laylatul Qadr? And she said, say, Allahumma inna ka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni. Oh Allah, you are most forgiving. You love to forgive, so forgive me. That hadith proves that the most important thing we're supposed to achieve here is actually the forgiveness of Allah. So as I said, don't only pray for yourself. Learn to pray for others because each time you think about other people and you pray for them and their sufferings and their issues and whatever else it may be, the angels are actually praying for you. <clears throat> I pray that these few words would help us and I ask Allah Almighty to grant us every goodness. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.